This is where it starts to become very advanced with your hurt box shifting. It's something I actually labbed out against Isabel. Is that if Isabel does a rising fair with fair, I guess, off the ground, she could do a rising fair and then a landing fair, right? Or no, she could do a rising fair, then double jump before she touches the ground and do another fair. But if she does a rising fair, Falco can't dash under it, and he can't crouch and crawl, right? And he can't just walk under it. But what he can do is Phantasm under it. Because in the first couple of frames of Phantasm, he gets ridiculously low. And I didn't even know this until I labbed it out. So I was like, if, and this is like an offline thing, is if I think she's going to fair, I can Phantasm and catch her at max range and go underneath the pellet at the same time which is some crack shit, <laughs> but it does work. So this is the type of stuff that you'd want to try and lab for yourself as well. To say, okay, maybe Diddy can't crawl underneath backwards, but maybe he can do it forwards, or maybe it's the opposite, right? So maybe you have to be facing backwards, in which case, crawl facing backwards, if that's what it is, then use the C-stick to throw the banana. And say, if you throw the, if you throw a laser, I'm gonna go under the laser, and while you're locked in your animation, I'm throwing a banana with my C-stick, which will make me turn around, throw it at you, and now you're gonna get comboed. So what I want to do is I want you to just crouch, right? And I want you to move forward, right? Try it again. Okay, so you can go backwards. What about forwards? Let's see. Okay, so they, they that's the secret sauce right there, bro. If you're crouching backwards, I can't hit you. Yeah, you got to like, time it perfect. Yeah, I can see that, like, the little dip that he does. There it is. That shit, bruh. Like, if you can do that, then go ahead. But I would rather just go backwards, you know? Because uh, pull out banana. And stand at, like, yeah. If you're, like, on the other side of the circle, right? Do it again. Like, just keep crawling backwards. Yeah, as soon as that comes out, you can just throw it. So you want to try to react to the best of your ability. Right? Try it again. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the eyes holding shield the entire time. Right? Right again so this is gonna be a practice thing for sure right but now this is something that's like oh wow this is like a new thing right so what i would be doing here is i guess you would have to like hold down on the control stick walk slowly backwards as soon as a laser comes out as soon as you see that you're under it let go of all controls except for the c stick or i mean all controls then press the c stick over to the left right do you want to try practicing this on the other side so if i'm over here or something or okay Okay, and he, here's the thing too. So with the weak throw, it doesn't go as far, right? That's the issue, I guess you could say. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So with that being said, you could also put, I was gonna say, you could also be putting the ball in the in the wolf's uh, court to say, um, maybe I don't know that is a weak hit and a strong hit. I could be scared of the fact that I'm gonna get hit at all. So now I'm being discouraged from shooting out laser. Right. The other thing too, realistically, is if you are just facing backwards and crouching like that, you don't even have to throw banana at all. It's the fact that I have to approach you because you've figured out a way to not have to shield or jump or roll or spot dodge my laser, and I can't get low enough to shoot you. Let's go like this, right? Which is not gonna <laughs> not gonna work out. If I start doing stuff like that, then I'm just stupid. And I'm trying to die on purpose. If I do that kind of a thing, it's like, all right, I want to throw myself off stage. I'm basically gonna die for free, right? So yeah, I would say that's one thing you could be implementing into your game, just like how I said with the Falco Isabel thing. It's so specific, but I promise you, you could also do this under Super Missile for uh, Samus. You could do it under Paralyzer for uh, Zero Suit Samus. You could probably do it under uh, Frizz for Hero. You could do it under a lot of different characters. Uh, you might be able to do it under Young Link if he... You gotta be pretty close for that, but you could do that. A lot of a lot of young links like go for like the, the B reverse or wave bounce like this too with their their lasers or even their uh, arrows. So wouldn't worry too much. Falco laser you could definitely get underneath. So it's gonna have a universal use for you, right? And this is also a way to slow slow down your gameplay as well, right? No, you're chilling, bro. Yeah, it's the fact that he's facing forward. I couldn't tell you why that is, but there are other characters that have similar things to that. Like, for example, uh, Pikachu. When Pikachu crawls backwards, he puts his tail up and it, like arcs up over to the top of his head or to like the back of his head, right? So for him, crawling forwards is much lower than crawling backwards. And then same thing with uh, Zero Suit as well. Zero Suit crawls backwards much higher. And that's one of those things too where it's like, it's not a combo, it's not even really tech, but it is a strategy. 
and you can use this and people will be like yo what the hell i literally can't hit you um one of the first times i was introduced to this concept of hurtbox shift shifting like this was when i was fighting dk will dk will hurt box shifts like a goddamn fool bro <laughs> with his up air i i just can't hit him he's playing dk the biggest character one of the biggest characters in the game he's like yeah no i'm not being hit you tried but also no <laughs> so okay i guess so so after that i went to the lab you know i'm like okay what, what can i do to do stuff like that falco can low profile with his landing hitbox affair and the crazy thing about landing hitbox affair is you can throw it out one frame before you touch the ground i didn't know that so one frame before you touch the ground landing fair low profile so like, uh okay i guess so so yeah there's a yeah a lot of really crazy little little niche things like that that you could be um exploiting as your character right